the fishbone diagram, or the Ishikawa diagram if you want to sound smarter, is an excellent tool if you want to seek all the possible contributing factors to a problem. By the way, this is a helpful tool whether you think you know the root cause of the problem or not. If you know it and others do not, it will help them see how to deduct the cause. Even if you do know the answer, you will see other aspects that may have also added to the cause. It is a key tool in teaching teams to be better at critical thinking. We want people to use judgment, and this is a great tool to teach them how. Oh, hi, Danny. Oh, hi, Ali. In a company like your own, you might bring a team together to talk about a quality problem. And you might bring a sample to the table. And there, there could be a lot of contributing issues to it. It could be with the machines. It could be human error. There could be a lot of contributing factors. But before we get into all that, let's back up just a little bit and talk about maybe an issue that happens in any of our daily lives. For example, we have a Prius and we were promised 55 miles to the gallon, but we don't always get that. So our problem is poor mileage. Absolutely. And with that poor mileage, there could be a lot of different contributing factors. You can think of the easier ones, like the way that one is driving, or is the engine having any issues, or am I using the cheap kind of gas, or are my tires not doing well? Or maybe you're pulling a boat. Absolutely. There can be a lot of different issues, and it's important to not just go with an assumption of what, of what the issue has to be, because there can be a lot of different contributing factors to it. And the Ishikawa diagram really helps bring that all into light.